Welcome to this technical walkthrough for Lost Piano, which is a really interesting instrument which we've spent a long time creating and crafting and developing. Uh, and as you've just heard from some of those samples and the demos we've got on our website, it's it's achieved, you know, you can achieve a massive range of different styles of sounds with this, from basic piano style sounds all the way up to much more organic synth like pads and textures, and then combinations of those as well as well as this memories engine that we've developed and engineered, which kind of just takes simple notes and then turns them into this rhythmical underscore. So if you just wanted to play like a simple chord progression or just a simple note, uh, it will create this natural sort of like uh, rhythm underneath your playing. So the whole idea of this instrument was to kind of create this synth-like instrument, but with the essence and with the, the kind of like the honesty of a normal organic piano. And if you want a normal, organic, regular, upright acoustic piano, this kind of isn't for you. We'd much rather you look to alt piano, and that's exactly what that is, a really great acoustic upright piano recorded really nicely with all the controls you'd expect and a few more from that style of instrument. This sounds like a piano and feels a little bit like a piano, but all of those sounds have been taken into a new space and a new place. And what we've what we've done is we went back to the original alt piano recording session, we stripped everything back and put those recordings through absolutely everything from sort of like slowed down reel to reel through some really old cassette, de uh, cassette decks, through some weird guitar pedals and interesting plugins and then combinations of those as well. So like slowed down reel to reel and cassette tapes or like cassette tapes and guitar pedals, those kind of things to get a collection of sounds that all kind of like feel like a piano and they've got that like history of a piano but they don't really sound like a piano much anymore. Some of them do, some of them really don't. So you'll get an idea by the end of this walkthrough exactly kind of like what you can achieve with these. Just as an as a overview, you've got this sounds page to begin with, which is like sides A and B, so you can load two different sounds into slots A and B, and then just blend between them with this big control in the middle. You've also got uh, motion and mood on the, on the front as well, so motion kind of oscillates between the two sides and creates some interesting natural rhythm that way. And then mood are these really cool, interesting effects plugins. Uh, that we've baked in under the hood and the level control changes you know really several different parameters for each one of those just so you can get like a, an interesting sound straight away you don't have to sort of like add two or three plugins to get something interesting that's what those are for then you've got the process page which is kind of like if you really want to fine tune 
those effects. You've got ADSR controls like you'd expect on like a synth, uh, as well as some sort of like more interesting uh, sounds as well. So like we've got a nice overdrive sound and a chorus and a rotator, as well as these uh, wow and flutter controls up as well, which I'll take you through in a minute. Then the memories page, which is one of the favorite sort of like UIs we ever we've ever created. Really interesting, designed for experimentation. It's like when you first get a synth and you just start turning stuff and you're not sure what it does and you're going, okay, that sounds good. Let's turn that one up a little bit more. Don't like that. Let's turn that one down a little bit more. That's what this page is all about is experimentation and sort of like crafting the memory sound. Then you've got the places page which is all to do with reverb it's all to do with like uh, acoustic ambient sounds and noises and then a really sophisticated delay engine as well which we've included uh, on top of that so that's the four main pages so if I just play some of the normal piano style sounds to begin with I'll start off with the ones that sound much more like a piano and then sort of like go through to the ones that don't sound like a piano anymore and then the texture sounds so this is just in one side at the moment I'll show you in a minute what you can do to blend these but this is just one side so this this is Cassetta. This is one of my favourites. So that's a Russian cassette tape from 1991. Absolutely amazing sound. To load in another sound, just click the name or this search icon here, and then it's gonna bring up this box here, which has got all of the different style sounds uh, that you've got. The top three are all of the, the piano style sounds. So the, the natural decay of the sound is exactly as it is with a piano, it just decays off like a piano does. And then these bottom ones here, these eight uh, bottom sounds, are the texture pads. So you've got this little infinite icon here that tells you that it's, you know, it's just going to loop indefinitely. So we've had Cassetta, let's choose uh, Summer 1973, which is another sort of like cassette uh, tape that we've used. If you click on any of these, you'll get like a little preview of what that sounds like. So rather than having to load in the whole sample set, it's quite quick just to choose one of those sounds that you, that you like. So anyway, 1973, let's go with this one. loads of natural tape sort of like variation and stuff going on in there. The one next to this is, is almost one of my favorites on the whole instrument. This is called one and seven eighths. And this has been put through the machine that you've got behind me there. It's a Sony reel to reel uh, recorder from the seventies. And what we've done to achieve this sound is we pitch shifted everything up in the computer. So like two octaves, recorded it to tape at a really fast speed and then slowed that tape down two octaves. So at a quarter speed, we've recorded it back in. So you're getting the same pitch center, but suddenly the tape is like really, really long. So you're getting these absolutely like almost infinite like tails to the samples. The transient's almost completely gone because the transient isn't super short anymore it's kind of like four times the length that it was so another uh, piano style sound before we move on so we've got uh let's choose felton ferric which is like the felted piano samples through like an old cassette deck. It's really uh, soft and gentle, this one. Again, like natural tape variation in there. And again, because every single one of the notes sounds different, it's like a little bit of a, it's a different part of the cassette it's been, it's been recorded on and a different part of the cassette that's been recorded back into the computer when we've resampled it. So let's go to choose some more like a, uh, of the like non-traditional piano sounds next. Uh, let's go for skinny dipping. So 
let's just choose another one. Uh, Breathe Out's quite a nice one. It's quite uh, like an 80s style sound. Really breathy sound and like big long tails to that sound. Uh, bit chimes is kind of like a lot more of a, like an electronic sound. So sort of like a bit bit crushy that's gone through like a, a, an interesting guitar pedal that we found. Uh, to get that sound. Reverse felts next. Super cool. I always imagine like a, when I'm ever playing that, I always imagine like a Netflix, do, you know, like a gritty Netflix documentary title sequence, something like that I can imagine it being used for. Uh, and then uh, Viscous Meniscus is another one of my favorites. Again, really cool. A lot of these sounds just sound great when you just let the sound do the talking. You're just playing quite simple stuff. Uh, and you're letting the sound just like fill in all of those gaps and, and do their work. A few of these other sounds, we went back to the original piano to record some extra sounds for. So we took the hammers off the keyboard and then actually, you know, recorded some sounds using like wooden guitar plectrums and finger picks and then, you know, drumsticks on the on the strings as well just to get like an even more uh, percussive sound that you can use. So this one that I quite like is called Finger Picked. And then another one is a taped plectrum. So this is kind of a wooden plectrum that's then gone through cassette tape as well. So sampled the whole piano with this wooden plectrum, then put it through cassette tape as well. Texture sounds on the bottom, uh, there's there's eight to choose from, and there's quite a, a range of sounds here, all the way from sort of like quite pure ones to a bit more gritty ones. So elemental to begin with, that, that sounds quite pure and quite clean. onto a sound we call Muddle, which is one of my all-time favorite sounds I've ever made. I think maybe because of how long it took to create, because uh, basically this thing's gone through a Fairfield circuitry shallow water pedal, an octave pedal, and then all those samples have gone back through reel-to-reel -reel as well. But as we were recording, resampling the, the, the sounds, the guitar pedals, all of the controls are slowly being, you know, manipulated and moved just to try and get some performance, natural performance back into these samples rather than being quite static. So the sound's quite, there's quite a lot of movement to it. Such a cool sound, like I've never heard anything like that before. That pedal's really expensive, but worth absolutely every penny. Uh, a couple of these other ones is, uh, let's go to Latitude at the end. Probably quite good if I put just a little bit more reverb on this one. We'll go through reverb later, but just for the sake of this one.
great for like the start of like a sci-fi movie or like a road movie, something like that, where you just need something big and epic. Let's just choose one more before we move on. Uh, let's choose Wanton. It's one of the more sort of like gritty ones. Sense of movement in there, but it's a bit more uh, gritty. Uh, and then just to combine some of these two, let's keep it on wanton, and then let's just choose a piano on this side, and then you just use this blend knob to change between the you know how much of one you want of the other. The other thing you can do is just load a, a completely random sound into each one of the sides. Just hit this little random icon and you'll get something completely different. And again, that could just like spur you off into a new direction. Could just like spark the whole idea of a, of a new piece of music. Let's just choose a couple of other random ones. One final round of one, let's see what we come up with. Video home system and deep tremors. So that's really cool. So on this other front page, you've got this motion control. Let's just choose, this works really well when you've got a couple of the texture uh, elements added in. So let's just choose ones you've not heard yet. So elemental and lacuna. And basically motion, just turn it on here, oscillates between the two sides. So I've got sine wave at the moment. Let's put the, the depth right up. It can either sync to your door or you can just choose a, a completely free speed. something like quite pulsating and quite synth-like. Pull the depth down, maybe just take the speed down to sort of like half and just choose a couple of other, other pad sounds. So reverence on this side, let's choose another one you've not heard, uh, wanton. more of a sense of movement there. Works quite well. I'm, I'm a big fan of like putting it on random, put the depth the whole way up, maybe choose something like a, an eighth. Let's get something else in there loaded up. So resolve on that side. What else should we have? Abstraction. And this will create like a much more, like a really synth-like sound now. really cool in the main uh, piece for Lost Piano the main sort of like score that goes over that trailer that's what I used as the random sound just to get that kind of like uh, feeling to it really cool and then the other thing we've got on the home page is mood and these are basically some effects chains that we've sort of like built into the instrument some interesting unique uh, ideas behind these uh, just to get you in some sort of like space immediately so you might like the sounds that you've got but you actually just want to like you know put that extra layer on so we've got yearn loaded to begin with So you can hear there's like a natural sort of like pitch variation in that, sort of like this yearning sense. Uh, Void's another good one. Let's just put uh, another couple of sounds in here. Uh, let's choose ones you haven't heard of yet, octave shimmer on that side. The other thing you can do on this page is just choose sounds for each one. So if you want A on this side and then B on that side, you can choose uh, that as well. So let's choose octave shimmer in this one. Let's keep on uh, abstraction on that side. And then what have we got? So this is Void. Really 
cool, like this really long icy tail just feels like this massive expanse and like this really big like reverb sound. I'll just show you tempera as well because that's one of my favorites. Let's just choose that's lacuna on that side. We've got muddle loaded in that side. Uh, and what this is doing is, uh, well, let's just let's just hear it, and then you'll you'll understand. So it's really great. What happens is the overdrive effect is getting more and bigger and nastier. There's this kind of like throbbing pulsating effect that comes in as well. And then it's also removing reverb. So at the bottom end of this uh, control, there's quite a lot of reverb and then it's getting drier as you're pushing it up. So it's, it feels like, you know, whatever this uh, angry thing is that's coming closer towards you is getting closer. And because the reverb is being removed, it's more visceral and it's more in your face. And I, I've done this quite a lot on tracks where though that that combination of three effects is happening but then you suddenly you've got to program all of those in you've got to pull up three different plugins so it's like it was one of my sort of like main things in this instrument is can we get that just in one knob and controlled you can push the level of these as well just like you would into a normal like guitar amp or like a plugin if you push the level of these it's going to make the effect even greater so i'm going to dial up the level a little bit on these So that's adding more to the overdrive, it's adding more to the reverb. So just like you would with any effects chain, if you want to make the effect even greater, just drive up the, the level going into it uh, and that will that will do that for you. The one thing that we've uh, added is this trans pitch control, which is taken from Alt Piano. What we've done with this control is actually enabled you to vary that amount. Uh, so let's just choose a piano sound uh, for this because it will just demonstrate it the best. So this is zero, so this is there's no effect on this whatsoever. Let's just make sure there's nothing else turned on. And if we take it down, What that's doing is you is pitch shifting the samples down but transposing them back up again so you're not losing the pitch center middle c is still middle c and everything else but you're getting a much much darker more interesting and warped sound by doing it and i'm so pleased that this control has worked out the way it has because it's something i've done you know loads with alt piano i just made it into a switch but with this we've made it into this control so you can dial in the the effect of it so if i just show you again on a, an, another note So those samples are, are pitch shifted at the moment, a whole octave down, but they're still playing exactly where they should sound. happy with how that's come out because you can do that with any sample instrument you can pitch shift stuff down and then take it up the same amount of semitones back in your door or in the instrument but it's like you know it's a pain to do that whereas this control does it all at once all at the same time and that the, the the sort of like the tonal shift that it creates just makes like another level of, of sort of like you know rather than EQing it to get darker or just sort of like doing something else to it. This is just a really fun and quick way of changing those uh, samples. Onto the Memories Engine next, and this is kind of like we've spent a long time developing this. I've got loaded uh, just a, a felt and ferric piano sound, so one of the more sort of like traditional style pianos, and then Elemental as well, just a, like a, a more pure texture sound so you get an idea of what this sounds like. Uh, you can choose any of the piano sounds at all to load into the Memories Engine. Uh, and then 
just to turn it on, you can turn it on there. And then you've got these presets down the side, which uh, we've pre-selected, and that changes all of these controls here, as well as actually chooses a sound for you as well, just to get you started. You've also got this patterns as well, so you can choose sort of like the, the, the rhythm that's happening within the engine itself. But just to give you an idea, let's just play some of these. So as you can hear, there's like this like natural rhythm that's happening underneath. It's kind of like an arpeggiator, it's kind of like a delay, but it's much more interesting than that. Another one of my favourites is Long Lost Piano at the end here. So like a really distant piano sound, like really far in the distance, just like these little drops that sound like you're in a cave. Absolutely amazing. So you've got density, which controls like the amount of notes that are being played. You've got this rhythm, uh, the rate control, which, you know, decides how quickly they're being played. And that's syncable to your door, you can make it free. Then you've got these upper and lower octaves. So you can decide if, if I just play a single note. You can choose how many octaves below and how many octaves above that note that you're playing is being played by the memories engine. And then you've got scatter as well, which is a really nice control. And that basically uh, pans the sound randomly over, the, over your speakers. So that's like just every single note is just deciding a new place to sit or you can just bring it right to the centre so everything's just playing at unity through both speakers. And you've got this damp control as well which dampens the actual sound of the memories that are loaded into there. And then this variation control as well which randomly changes how much dampening is being applied. So you're getting a lot more variation in the, in the sound of it. If I just choose one of these uh, sounds and then you'll get an idea of what it is. So bring the dampening right up, bring the variation right up. So some of them are like are really damped and really in the distance and then others are there at their full signal and they're being played without any dampening at all. Then you've got this haze control down here. Let's just use another one so you get an idea. And that's basically either this mist control, which is kind of like a really hazy, ambient, shimmery sort of like reverb. And then you can change it to echo as well, which is like a much more traditional sort of like a delay sound. I've got it on Forgotten Youth because that shows this control off quite well. repeating the, the memories back to you like a like a traditional delay control. So it's another another way to just add more texture and more movement if you wanted to do that. Uh, so like what you'll see from the memories engine is like playing simple stuff can all of a sudden sound like, you know, really rhythmical and you add a lot of movement to your playing. And because you can choose any of the sounds from the like any of the piano sounds that we've got in there, 
you know, suddenly you can create combinations between pads and piano sounds on the home page, on the sounds page, and then choose a completely different sound for the memories engine. And all of these kind of things just blend together to make something, you know, very unique uh, to your playing. The process page, it's kind of what you'd expect. It's got the standard ADSR controls that you, you need, compressor, overdrive, rotator, and chorus. All of these have been dialed in for the, for the instrument specifically. Then you've got uh, wow and flutter controls, just to be able to get some of that, nat you know, if you wanted more of that natural sort of like tape fluctuation, you can. But you can also turn them into like much more synth st sounds. So if I choose one of these, let's just put it over here so you can understand it you can choose you know which side you're controlling as well or on each one of these you can say i want it to just control side a or you can switch it so now i'm controlling side a and b together so you can you know control each side independently or globally so if i put it on flutter let's move this up let's take the speed up to an eighth sine wave <laughs> So they're much more like a, you know, a traditional synth style sound. Uh, what I'll do is let's just choose a couple of these, load that one into that side. Let's keep with Elemental, why not? And then if we put the wow effect on, let's take Flutter off. Just bring these up a little bit, keep it on sine wave, keep it on free, and you'll get some like natural pitch variation. So you can hear it's kind of like that natural sort of like sounding pitch that suddenly starts to sound much more like a, you know, like an old tape. A lot of these sounds have already got that built in, but if you wanted to add more or add it to a sound that isn't there, that's what that's there for. So the places page is basically where you can start to take your sound and put it into a place and make it feel like it's actually in a real space. And we've got a selection of reverbs, really sophisticated delay engine, as well as some noise and ambience recordings uh, that just make it the whole thing feel a bit more gritty and a bit more alive and a bit more real, a bit more like a movie really. And the, the reverb impulses have been inspired by TV and film locations. So in the comments, it would be great if anybody can guess where they're from. That would be amazing if anybody can get them all. Uh, they Just as a caveat, they've not been recorded in these film and TV locations. Uh, they have been recorded elsewhere or created, but they've been inspired by those places. So if you take Discovery 1, they, they, there's some ones in there that are just like room, sort of like more dry sounds, up to like these big cavernous sounds and stuff in between as well. So Discovery 1's kind of like this really big uh, sound. <laughs> The Gold Room or Kellermans are really good if you just want like a, a natural hall sounding reverb. engine we've got is absolutely bonkers there's there's loads in here more than I can go through right now but you've basically got five different types of delay you've got uh, analog vintage tape a really clean sort of like just modern sounding delay if that's your thing and then this haze one as well which is like a really shimmery ambient reverb style reverb it's kind of like delay it's somewhere in the middle or oh, you've got these other ones as well and then you've got these ambience and noise controls at the top which are basically to put it in a space so the ambience ones are all kind of like you've got room tone a uh, hall room tone uh, ocean is quite nice rain and like a distant city so if you just wanted to start to make it feel like it's part of a movie soundtrack, it might not be a movie soundtrack. It might be like part of an album or like an EP you're making or a single, but 
suddenly it starts to give the whole piece a lot more life and a lot more texture. And then these noises as well that have been recorded, sort of like a lot of them throughout the duration of this. So you've got the some tape static that we recorded from one of the tape sounds, uh, vinyl, preamp, this machine one that's quite cool. So again, just to give it a bit more life and a bit more, you know, just interest and just take it away from being so clean. The last control on the instrument that I want to show you is this little icon down here called Get Lost. And this is where kind of like the name comes from, obviously. And it's ideal for people who just want to open up an instrument and they're not really sure what to do. They're not sure, you know, where to go. They're not sure what to write. This will basically randomize almost every single control on the whole instrument, set everything up differently, give you something that you would have never have thought to set up yourself and then take you on this journey. So you hit it and it just comes up with something completely random. So it's really cool just to like, just to be given something and then that spark off like an idea is really, really powerful. And you just hit it again and it will come up with something new. Absolutely bonkers. There was never, never a chance that I would have come up with that. Let's hit it again. undo control as well so if you've suddenly if you've accidentally pressed it or you're like I'm going to try my hand let's go for it but actually you want to get back you can press undo there's one undo state so use it wisely so that's the get lost option and you can just close it down if you don't want to accidentally touch it at all so for the instrument we've also created over a hundred presets they're all categorized so it's, it's nice and easy to find what you want lo-fi pianos are, are great electric pianos memories there's loads of different uh, options in there these alternative ones are great. These didn't really fit into any of the categories, but we wanted to make them stand out a little bit more. So those are great to explore. And then you've got some of the more basic ones up the top, just to get you in a, like a really basic starting point. If you just wanted to like go, right, I want to start here and then I want to start adding my own things. And then these piano blends and texture blends, which, you know, two different pianos blended together with some nice effects on top. And then the same again with the texture blends. And hopefully some of those presets as well will show you what's possible with the instrument that you might not have thought about either. Just get you into a different space. So that's what the, the presets are there for. So that's everything I want to cover in this video. Like I say, there's, there's loads of possibilities for experimentation and different sounds in this. You can keep it quite simple and just choose one of the sort of like cassette style sounds or tape style sounds and just, you know, use it as that, just use it as a basic piano, but one that sounds a bit more interesting and a bit more organic. Or you can turn on both sides, load in a texture, turn on the memories engine, add some effects, and all of a sudden you're a, you're a, you're a mile away from where you thought a piano should sound like, and you're writing music that you didn't think was, was gonna be possible 10 minutes ago. And then you can use the get lost option if you're really just like staring at a blank screen and you're like, I've no idea what to do. Hit the get lost option a few times, land on something that you like the sound of, tweak it a little bit to get it to you know where you want it to be, and then all of a sudden you're writing something that you didn't think was possible. So that's what that is there for. If you get this, I would put aside a couple of hours to begin with because you will end up just like sitting there and just playing with all the sounds and that sounds great, that sounds great, that sounds great. And I promise you it will spark off a few compositions within the first hour of you loading it up. So that is everything that I want to cover. If there's anything I've missed or something you want to know specifically, as always, just drop it in the comments and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. But uh, I really hope you enjoy using it. Uh, that's it. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.